Spark's holding on to it. Now, the Spark has to get on the payload to touch. They do just that barely. Blossom and a prayer doesn't end up finding anything, and still the Spark have to commit to this coalescence out. You'll likely see Supercharger drop immediately. They do just that. But so far, the Spark have been able to find kills. Void grabs another. That's his third final blow. Yeah, this is getting a bit out of hand now. But the Gladiators are so scrappy. They refuse to give in. The sound barrier thrown in by the Ghost, but Hideki is going to come in, but not before Nora goes down. Gooshway follows on the side of the Spark. That's God's be dead. And that's the Los Angeles Gladiators. They got to get it now. Should be a one fight, and they will pick up the first point on Busan. So they don't get that many heals. And so Hangzhou, Hangzhou, there's a good chance now for them to push in, try to capitalize on that, especially with Surefire out of the picture. Now Godspeed gets to run amok here. There's nothing really the Gladiators can hope to do unless they can just try and get some kills, but it's not happening. Roar, dead, Decay, gone, and that's the Gladiators sent back to spawn. Well, that's Godsby with three final blows in a row right there. And the pink arrow means headshot. That's exactly what you want to see from your Widow. Means all the burst damage comes out. Otherwise, sure for keeping it a little quiet on that side. And Rhea, in the meantime, will find Decay. So Surefour's got to step up and start doing some damage. If he's not going to just shut down God's B, he's got to start finding kills. And this is what God's B is all about right now. He's like, well, I don't need to duel you, Surefour. If you're not going to come for me, I'm just going to kill the rest of your team. Yeah. Godspeed was not even looking at Shortfor for a while, and yeah, that'll show up on a highlight reel, but it's not really gonna matter. shortfor has got to run for his life, hooked back in to Oblivion. So good about just using their ults to buy time. Infrasight was one, and then you get the Supercharger, and now you've got to have the whole hog thrown in by Rhea. Actually, many of the ults getting used here on the side of the spark, so now it is that win or die sort of situation, and the, well, the Gladiators are gonna do a whole lot of dying. Yeah, get busy living or get busy dying, the Gladiators choose the latter in a completely one-sided second round of Busan, thanks largely in part to God's be there. For a pick, if you can get into a squishy or if you can remove one of these tanks, that'd be baller. They open a barrier. They open a barrier just push right in. Godsby doesn't even need the Blossom when he's supercharged like that. He's doing so much damage up close. No way for them to survive, and he's even going to hold on to the ult. The Hangzhou Spark walk their way onto the point. Blossom's one of those things that I almost think of as barrage sometimes. Or where, take mode for best. Yeah, where you'd rather just stay in your normal mode and that way you can pick targets quicker. You still have the utility to be able to use your other abilities. Blizzard here on the low ground. Nowhere to go, nowhere to hide. There was a self-destruct thrown into it. Doesn't get any value, but now it's God's me coming into his own. And boy, he eats it. Eats the Blizzard, but God's me still gets the kill. And again, Kushway, this one's not over yet, but it does force the Spark to commit the sound barrier into this one. You got two running back for the Gladiators right now. There are four alive on the point. You gotta get some kills, because it's pretty soon you're gonna have Roar back in here. He's got the Bongos ready to go. If he drops that, that's gonna be a problem here for the Spark. And yep, now there's the damage boost, and instantly bodies start dropping for the Spark. The Gladiators, they held their own hex. A very patient push, waiting for things to come back online, sustaining until they had the numbers advantage from the reinforcements, and the Gladiators will take our third round of Busan, and thus our first map of Busan. Scrappy fight here between both of these teams, or the tanks and the supports, but Godspeed, if he gets the proper support from the rest oh! of the teams, that's what he's capable of. Oh! Boom, headshot. That's not a Genji, too. That's not like a big hitbox character. Genji's got all the mobility in the world. He's double jumping. He's doing crazy cyber ninja stuff. Well, Decay in a little bit of trouble right now, too. He's getting frozen. Nice peel from his team, though. And now it's Adora who's in trouble. He was going for the aggressive play on a Decay. And Decay's team comes in and helps him out. They bring a Lucio over there, and they get that kill. What are you doing, Adora? You just threw the defense. Rest of the team. Ah, that's a painful one. If you're going to lose this on the defense now, if they do not stabilize, Adora is not really going to be holding his head too high. Roar just stomping him into the ground. Shaz with a giant anti-heal. Godsby is doing his best. He gets a couple here early on. Adora will be back here on time to hopefully try to play a hero role. A little bit of redemption, maybe. Possibly. Oh, Nano goes on to the Winston, though. That's going to keep him up a little while longer. That's Roar. And now he can actually do some damage. It's not just tickling people. And eventually, with the help of Big Goose, they will find the kill on Rhea. And this is just going to be the one after the other sort of scenario here for the Spark. Don't even really want to see Bebe run in here. Just oh, back Spark off. get back. I mean, both of the supports now back into this, but it's going to be too little too late. And he goes after Shortboard. Shortboard has to get nanoed because of it. Yeah. And he gets the kill. Don't want to play too much, though, Shortboard. He's going to back off. 
Just barely squeaks it, gets back to the health pack, and now you got the Blizzard going in here from Adora. Rhea did get frozen. Didn't look like there was quite the follow-up there, though, from the Spark. Oh, but they are going to find one. Decay takes down Adora, but it's traded. Sure for it. Revenge on finding the hand that got being trade's not good for the offense, but Decay thinks his team has a chance. Tosses to the Blizzard, but Godsby puts an end to this one. See if they can get any progress here at least. I think the hopes of actually winning the point should be gone. But now Baby's forced to use the Nano Boost. This one's over. Yeah, it's just, hey, I'm probably gonna get that Nano so quick. You know what? Go have some fun. Goes down here for the Sparks. They've got that additional damage. Even the window paint, you will just melt. And that's it. That's why you see Kushroy get kills on Decay, etc. So much boosted damage. You can't even put up an ice wall there. You need, as a team going forward, to be successful in the 2-2-2 meta, you need a hard carry, and Gosby has done it the last couple of matches. This map has been very good for them. Yeah, super sick. And the map, as you pointed out at the beginning here, not exactly home turf for them. One in five. One in six, six, but regardless, not exactly a winning map for the Hongjo Spark, but versus the Gladiators, they've done a fantastic job with the defense on B, no permanent progress made for the Gladiators. Well, now Short Wars move now. Get a good hook. Ah, uh, nice Lantern wall. goes down. Decay might be in trouble. Yep, Decay gone, baby. Finds the kill, and now Sherfor trying to do the best he can from here on the high ground. Oh, hooked in! Rhea goes fish and came up with a keeper. That's it. Excellent take here from the Spark. Clinical. Yes, and the Gladiators will not win Temple of Anubis. They got zero progress on the second point. Let Gosby do whatever he wants. Now you have the There's the bait. Playing with them. I mean, this is something that Shurfork is definitely. Oh, never mind. The Shurfork is dead, and that's. Uh, he bought a bit of time. That's still not making the massive difference he was hoping for because he got Shad. Yeah, everybody dying on the side of the Gladiators now. Three of them gone through that window. No bongos left here, and single tick of progress is all they need. The Spark. Quick and clean. Run right through the Los Angeles Gladiators defense. Zero eliminations for the Los Angeles Gladiators defense there. A clinic put on by the Hangzhou Spark. Into that, that would have been sick. Right. It is the Spark. What happened there? That's, uh, that Orisa went to the moon. Yeah, it went to the moon and it was so distracting that I think the, the Los Angeles Gladiators had no idea what was going on and that cost him too. It's like a weird interaction with the uh, the fortify ability sometimes. Uh, when you halt an Orisa like that, she went so high in the air. Early kills, though, come from the side of the Spark and Gosby, already nearing 100%. At least go fight, Gladiators. <laughs> they were waiting, desperate, but now Roar. Dropping low, window goes down. They're able to close off the angle, though. Gushway surviving for now. Gushway still getting the support from his team. There's a Maywall going down as well. The Dragon thrown into the mix, nearly getting the halt off there. That was so close, but we lose Roar for the Los Angeles Gladiators. But Goose and Shaz, yeah, they're so low, they might as well be dead. Shorefoot goes on the flank. He gets Bebe, but there's only three alive here for the Gladiators. Not gonna be enough. The Spark will take first point with relative ease. Walls yeah. up, Supercharger down, and the wall's broken very quickly. God. Godspeed. Trying to hold on to that high ground, that siege tank. It's kind of a theme here, but Godspeed doing his best impersonation, killing everything. Excellent work on his side. The Blizzard went down, and it's just kill after kill coming in for the Spark. They're rolling right through this defense right now. The Gladiators. Oh, there we go. You can't walk out in the open like that and, not, and expect to live. Not when you've got God's be around. Efficiency out of the ultimates that you're used to seeing from this LA Gladiator squad. And now it looks like Moore is out on an island. They will make sure that he does not swim to shore. Gosby takes down Shaz, and it has been completely one-sided for your team in pink. Now, they can toss in the blizzard right now. A big hook, though, onto Bebe. That's exactly what they needed. Sparker committed, though. Oh, yeah. They've got the blizzard down. They take down Roar. Boyd goes next. And just like that! The guys you had contesting the point got annihilated. And if they could just finish kills that they're starting on Gushway, there it is. There we go. Yeah, that was Gushway. It kind of looked like he didn't know where to go. He was kind of turning all over the place. Not really sure. Maybe Sherfor. It doesn't really see like God's B is caring about Sherfor so much up on that uh, high ground left. And eventually that cost him because Sherfor was just pumping damage into Gushway. I mean, it might be one of those instances. Wow. Free nice. take. Free take. Yeah, that's as For good as free. it gets. Uh, Oh, no, nope, that's not happening. Beautiful. Window down, so much damage. Can't really survive that kind of pressure, no matter how much heals and support you're getting. So, Rhea back to spawn. Quick 
reset here for the Spark. They'll be looking to try and get in on the other side of the pylon terrace. He's stopping him in time. Blizzard onto the point, though. It's going to make life difficult for Gushui. But there is a trancing Bebe. And tra Bebe trying to body block as well. Trying to cut off the damage from hitting his base tank. Now Bebe not able to get there in time to save his tanks, though. Rhea falls first. A counter Blizzard coming in now from Adora. No cleanup really available. This one's getting scrappy, but it's Roar with the final cleanup and the Gladiator setting a pace very much like the Spark. All the damage now, Widow Pains, one on top of the other. Dragon on the flank though, Roar not expecting that one, gets caught. He's gone, and now do we get to the follow-up? Doesn't look like it, Boy trying to do the best he can, he gets frozen for his troubles, sure for dead, and now Godspeed looking to pad the stats. Well, that was a fight that the Spark had to win because they did commit both of their damage ultimates to it. Okay there, he just got chunked. Uh, right, sure for on the flank, and Shaz and sure for working as a duo together. Bebe's out, that's the trance gone, and there's the blizzard coming in. The follow-up picture perfect here from the gladiators. They pounce on the opposition. There's not a hope, not a prayer here for the defense. They are gone. That was the best possible kill Shaz could have gotten right there. It What's was... going on there? How does that happen? I wish we had, I mean, if we have the replay, we should take a look at it. Because it's only to Jonek and damage, so he's made a living peeking corners, but that was not the time to do it. You had to have Transcendence there to give the team a shot. And now they don't even touch! Yeah, so sick. That's Void. Void 100% with the whole hog. And therefore, may be able to catch him completely off guard. They have no idea. Check yes. your corners. This is big. There's Bebe gone down. Big flank coming in here from Surefort, making the plays for his team. It's Bebe down, which means you still got IDK there to pump healing. But Surefort, with the help of Shaz, the deadly duo right now, making all the difference. Shaz was just playing bait that entire time. Shaz baited. Godspeed up there to try to deal with them, and he had two people come help him out. Every fight from here on out. Sparks is waiting. Sparks waiting for Blizzard. Oh! Yeah, look at that. Boy. Ah, on ceremonies. They just hold up on a sign. This is what happened. Oh, and then it just injected it out. There's the dragon. Heading on through. We got Shaz at the trance, though. That's going to keep them all healthy. Rhea goes down, but we lose Roar somehow through the healing. Roar dies. That's no bueno here for the Gladiators. Supercharger is a good ability. It's still 6v5 in favor of the Spark. They try to get some more kills. Uh, I mean, we got the window pane going in here. That's going to make life even more difficult for the Gladiators, and this might very, very well be it. Where the push ends right here at the door. I mean, the May Wall's going up, trying to cut players off from their healers, from their support line, and it's working out, baby. Once again, he doesn't want to get caught by Sherfor. Sherfor in the back, but Sherfor goes down to Rhea, and that's going to be it. So just going to bail. He got spotted. I uh, know what's up now. Trance thrown out there by Shaz, though. This might balance out. Adora might have a window. Dragon in. No chance to block it. Decay going to throw the Blizzard in just to try and buy some time. That's Decay going down on the Dragon, but Godspeed gets killed by Void. Now we're all over the place. Void just pinning him to the wall. I don't know if this is enough for Hangzhou. It is still 3v5. Hangzhou, in theory, could reinforce a little bit quicker, but not too much on this first point here. You're going to get the two charges thrown down. Damage is boosted. Keeping an eye, what's next? There's the Blizzard from Adora. Now you're going to get it. On the other Great side, the window paint Great is wall. there. Void goes boom, and this could be the first take of progress picked up here for the Spark. They might very well roll this into a point itself. Dragon to try and clear it. Kushui holds it in to harm's way, and he doesn't survive it. Sure for once again with the snipe. Just not enough. Dragon for the Spark. Polhawk comes out first, trying to knock him off. Yep, Polhawk from Rhea. Does he manage to delay on the side of Boy? Oh, this is getting out of hand. They are right on the edge. Roar getting yanked in. Roar down. Shaz goes down as well. And just like that, it might be the Spark getting the job done. They might be taking the lead in this series. Two to one if the kills go their way. And they will, Hex. Two to one. Lead for the Hangzhou Spark. We talk so much about Godsby and he deserves it, but Adora, I think, was the all-star for the Hangzhou Spark, especially in their secondary attack. Spark, though, plenty of check marks. A dragon doesn't get much. There's a pull in, and that forces an early transcendence. Oh, now the perfect blizzard as well. That's a follow-up and a half. They're not going to be able to hold this. Fantastic work here from the Spark. Working well together off the back of a single ult. Well, they had two with the window pane. That's going to be the Gladiators getting completely overwhelmed. The Transcendence was forced out early because of a hook onto Void, because now you need to try to get Godspeed off of it. Oh, only way to really get Godspeed off of it is to send your own Hanzo up there. An enormous dragon. They don't really seem to care about the Surfboard, though, right now. They're much more interested in taking away the people who can actually contest. I mean, Decay's back in here with the Blizzard. 
You've still got Rhea just hanging out though, and Decay, that's certainly Decay going down. Sure, four is still on high, but look at all this progress. Look at all this failure push. This has been some ambitious ultimates. Rhea is gonna get cleaned up eventually, right? Right? Oh, he gets the loud turn lantern! What is going on here, Hex? Okay, finally, he's gone. Or if there's any kind of play to make here with this team, a halt, we've seen really good coordination with Gushui, but Gonsby, he's just office. lobbing arrows in, and eventually one of them connects with the head, so that's Decay out, sure for gone, and this is a successful push, just like that here for the Spark. No damage left for the Gladiators, they're just gonna get overwhelmed. Yeah, Shorefer was on the flank, and he almost got Gosby dead to rights, but Bebe got him down. Bebe saved Gosby's life twice there. Oh, on third, I'm just thinking, uh, Saya. Ah, there it is. Perfectly done, Shorefer. Perfectly done! That's as good as it gets. Adora! No way! Adora, what are you doing, buddy? That's, uh... I mean, now he's getting all the ults thrown in. We're just getting all the ults thrown in. 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Disappointed. It's just... That's tough. They're thinking, okay, is this the final push? Do we have to clutch it out? Can somebody get a kill? I mean, they're just throwing things in. But I guess in this composition, you don't really have anyone who can get back in touch, but I think they had time to not use ultimates there. Like, we did manage to get, uh... Gushui just yeah. in range. Rhea going for the big plays. Imagine the supercharger, but the blizzard's there. Imagine if you could have had a, a blizzard and a transcendence. Yeah, it might have uh, made quite a difference instead. It is going to be the Los Angeles Gladiators denying a third point. Shaz definitely pleased with that result. Been ultra aggressive, and that's the thing. He's taken enormous flanks. A huge sleep on a short board means I don't have to worry about him. Now the focus goes to the front line, but they missed the follow up hook. Oh, and that's it. Done and dusted. Gladiators will be able to push through, but it took up two minutes. Full now. Dragon on the high ground instead. Yeah, that's exactly where you're firing through. You know where they are. Yeah, you're dropping out those tanks. You're making them slow. You make them use the Matrix. Short for going aggro again. He gets Godsby. Ooh, but Baby trades it one for one. Both Hanzo's out of this. Still got Decay's. Grab and they still have Decay. That can make all the difference. And if you're gonna pick off Gushui as well, this is looking great. There's the Blizzard here. Take this. And there's no Transcendence to be able to join in about it. There's a Nano, but that's it. Adore needs to live. Can Adore drop the Blizzard? He does not. Los Angeles Gladiators will grab the checkpoint. But they got it. First point on the board now for the Gladiators. Three minutes, 18. And, well, just maybe revenge for his fallen mates. No one to deal with the Hanzo on the high ground except for the other Hanzo to jump up. A hook comes in, Rhea down. A battle in the back line as Baby gets the best of short for but it's not gonna matter. Yeah, there you go, Baby. Done with Sure Force shenanigans. Gushui is gone, and they are going to get the second point picked up for the Gladiators. Dragon and Blizzard on the field. Bebe cannot die. He cannot use his Transcendence early. Oh, that's not gonna help things though. Roar dies. That's the dragon used. Decay now has the blizzard, but that hasn't back. forced the ultimate out of Bebe. He's no. got the trance. It's time to back now. Last attempt for the Gladiators to lock in a top six spot. Here for the Gladiators. Dragon I'm gonna be better about it. Dragon must up. Beautiful transcendence. Did I say Rhea for a second, but the amp comes up! Yeah, amp is there. Goose dead as well. There's the window pane. Now the counter dragon right on through, but there will be the cooldowns here to keep the Gladiators up. They're playing it right in the end. It was looking dicey for a moment, but the Los Angeles Gladiators coming up when it matters most. Nobody there to contest. We're going to map five, Hex. Patience pays off again for the Gladiators as they use their ultimates more efficiently. The last second transcendence from Shaz pushes them the last mile in Route 66. And this is what we were promised. What a matchup we have here, Semler. Yep. Gosby's literally just been on top of Shorefor the entire time, daring him to hit a shot. There it is. Why'd you have to do that, Hex? Sorry, Gosby. They're gonna try to get this res, maybe? No? Whoa. <laughs> That's not what you want to see coming at you. That's awkward. It's like he's tiny and then he's big really quick and yeah, you're dead. And Adora right now, there's been so much talk about uh, God's Me. Adora's decided, hey, it's my time to shine here. I'm gonna have to come up with it. Two kills though for the Spark. That's not gonna help things and they are going to eventually lose this fight as the Gladiators manage to stabilize. Still, so much precision on the, the board. board. They have a tracer here. All they're doing right now is gonna stall it out. That's all they care about. This is a page right out of Guangzhou's book. Recall, this is unreal. Oh man, IDK even gets void. 
Uh, that's going to be it, though, and they will get the foot button for the spot healing if you need it, or just to let, you know, God's ego to work. See, God's face just gonna go ahead and blast more, get the follow-up on Decay as well. Straight drive by, two of them gone. He's looking for more. On to the high ground. It's actually the time that I, re I really like the Reaper, because Reaper's that hard counter to the Winston. Yeah. Uh, Riss has got uh, the Fortify, she's got the, the new, she's got a shield. When you can find the Winston without a jump, he's just gonna be dead. Sure for no Blossom either, but that's the sound barrier thrown in. Adora now deciding to try to throw that Blizzard in. Roar nearly chucked into oblivion, but it's Big Goose who goes up with the bomb. Roar out in the open, dies, and this, the Spark are setting themselves up. Shaz refusing to say die, though. Finds a kill on God's B. That's a lot of damage lost for the side of the Hangzhou Spark, and it might be just enough here for the Los Angeles Gladiators to stagger it out. The Spark have gone all in. They used everything that they have, and now they're going to get God's B back with the Death Blossom short board. So close to death, but he's still alive right now. The Nano Diva comes in. Yeah, I like this from Rhea, man. He's got some mobility to hunt down the Goose. We've lost Hu Shui here for the Spark. It's just the hamster. That's it. <laughs> you can't even believe it. So tense. There it is, Surfer again, baby. What are you doing, buddy? Are they get the hook. Are they not able to get that kill though. Adora, though. Yeah. Oh man, the main fight. The main fight is going south. The gladiators getting obliterated. Shore four in trouble. Frozen and eliminated. Adora comes up huge when they need it most. He's gonna have Blizzard. There's gonna be a whole hawk, 50%, and counting up for the Hangzhou Spark to try to lock in a top six seed in the Overwatch League 2019 playoffs. 90% for the Spark. Oh, there's the halted. There's halted and Roar is gone as well. The Orisa picked off and just going out with a whimper now. Okay. The Gladiators, they were looking brutal. They fought back so well on Route 66, but Void goes down. You got Goose on the point trying to be the hero. Not meant to be. Now it's Shaz body blocked as well, but he eventually gets onto the point. He's got the transmittal to wear off. He dies instantly. Nobody here left to touch it for the Gladiators, and it's the Spark. They did it in five hex. And they will collect the sixth spot in the playoffs. This looks like a very complete team right now because yes, God is able to carry a map, but then you get Rio playing big, you get Gucci playing big, Adora when he needed it most comes up yeah. huge with nine final blows on that map. Maybe an IDK have been rock solid for this team when no one else is playing well. So this is a scary, scary team that is peaking at the right time. Now our own by HP player of the match, Godspe, and. I mean, at the very end, from, from through and through, he maybe dropped off a little bit on Route 66. Yeah. But for the rest of the series, I mean, he was a monster. I mean, he put the fear in him right here, right? This was the, the first stage that he played the Widow and he just absolutely crushed. And that forces the Gladiators to do something about it. So the Gladiators can't just run Reaper and May the entire time. They're forced to put Short 4 on it. Short 4, to his credit, bounced back greatly in the second half of this match. But then on Ruins, it was all Godspeed. He was getting it done. He played a far a little bit, very adjustable. Made the Reaper switch at the right time that I thought was good for them. But you could give it to a lot of the guys on the Spark and collective effort, but when it came to win games by yourself, Godsby won Temple of Anubis by himself, pretty much. He crushed that map. He's great. The Spark looked like they're peaking at the right time. Man, they looked clean today.